DICE promises that they will be fixing some Battlefield 2042 issues, Call of Duty Warzone new map has been delayed, and Battlegrounds Mobile India now has a League of Legends event added. Hey what's up guys and welcome back once again to Gamer Connect and you guys are watching top gaming news of this very week. We got some very interesting news including Battlefield 2042 which is coming right next. The biggest game that was released last week was Battlefield 2042 and many players were able to get the early access thanks to EA Play and those players, those were not happy. There were a variety of issues with the biggest one being lags and frame drops. EA has released a patch that has smoothed some of the gameplay experience but not everything is smooth. EA however has released a patch which actually has smoothed the gameplay out a little bit but not everything is smooth. They also promised that they will be bringing another update which will fix the soldier revive issue and will nerf down hovercraft which is the most OP vehicle of all time. My god that needs to go down. According to EA, they are confident that they have identified the cause of the issue that was preventing you from always getting off a revive, particularly when a player is in close proximity to a nearby geometry. A fix for this is on the way. Separately, we are closing in on a possible server site fix for players who are in rare circumstances finding themselves unable to respawn. If that server site fix doesn't stick, we already have a further solution lined up for an upcoming update. They also talked about the hovercraft and how reducing the health and its armor will be done and at the same time there will be some tuning done to its weaponry. The MD540 Nightbird will also have some similar kind of tuning on its weaponry. I guess at this time I'll just clearly go to play Battlefield 4 because that is a much better game right now instead of playing Battlefield 2042. The future stinks. Have you guys played Battlefield 2042? Let me know in the comments below and if you haven't, you can actually play a 10 hour free trial for Battlefield 2042 by getting the EA Play subscription, which you can also get by getting Xbox Game Pass. And now you can get 8 months of Xbox Game Pass by paying only 1 month of it. Get that deal, it's very amazing because you don't only really get to play Battlefield, you can also play 100 plus games that is available right now including new games such as Forza Horizon 5 and more such as Halo Infinite coming next month. From one shooter to another, Call of Duty Warzone was supposed to get a new map by the name Pacific. It was supposed to release on December 2nd but now that has been delayed and will now release on December 9th instead. Those who own Call of Duty Vanguard will get a map a day early, meaning on December 8th. Also, Season 1 of Vanguard, which is supposed to release on December 2nd, has also been delayed to December 9th. Activision rep has also said that the full rollout of the new Ricochet anti-cheat system will also be released on December 9th. You get released on December 9th. You get released on December 9th. Everybody gets released on December 9th. The reason for the delay has not been mentioned at all. However, this delay will be matching up to the Halo Infinite campaign release. Not so sure if that was intentional or no, but regardless of that, it's simple. Those who like Call of Duty will stay here, while those who like Halo will try Halo. And maybe everybody will try both of those games. So far, Call of Duty Vanguard hasn't been terrible as compared to Battlefield 2042. At least the game plays well, but it's still one of the lower rated Call of Duties of all time. Many people say it's worse than Black Ops Cold War. And if you play the game, you'll probably feel you're playing once again Modern Warfare 2019. But if you're playing Call of Duty after a long time, well, this might be the game for you. Have you guys played Vanguard? Are you enjoying that game? Let us know in the comments below. Battlegrounds Mobile India developer Krafton has released a new update for the game which brings the new League of Legends inspired mode, special features, new gameplay mechanics and more. The League of Legends mode brings the new Mirror World to Erangel, Livic and Sandhawk maps. In order to get that mode, you need to enable it in the checkbox. Once you do that, you will get the Mirror World after playing the map for some time. Players will be able to enter the Mirror World and then once they go through it, you will be able to play one of the four characters from League of Legends and Arcane TV show. Players are also rewarded with Hextech Crystals if the killer monsters and the shards can be exchanged for various battle items. Once a player dies or playtime on Mirror Island is over, player returns to the regular battlegrounds. Crafton has also announced various Mirror World events where players win arcane characters, arcane emotes and items. These events will last till the holiday seasons. Furthermore, BGMI's classic mode is getting a piggyback feature and weapons related changes. The piggyback feature lets players resurrect fallen teammates, but they cannot use any weapons or vehicles while this feature is active. SLR, SKS, Mini-14, VSS and DP-28 weapons in Battlegrounds Mobile India will be getting enhancements scheduled for later this month. Along with this, a new grenade indicator will also help players to judge where the explosive is dropping. 
BGMI is also collaborating with Liverpool. Players will be able to play You Will Never Walk Alone event where they can win a Liverpool FC branded parachute, backpack and jersey. Crafton is rolling out an India-specific event called the Recall, where players will win recall tokens that can be exchanged for rewards from the in-game store. Crafton has been bringing a lot of updates to the game since day one and it's great to see that they keep on rolling out new events, new features and more updates and fixes. Are you guys playing BGMI right now in your mobile because the update for League of Legends is already out. You can try out the Mirror World which looks actually very exciting. So check it out right now. The release of GTA Definitive Edition has made players very angry over Rockstar. The game has bugs and is overall a mess along with how the game looks with various game models looking worse than the original. Looks like Rockstar is going to make the fans happy as they're bringing back the classic versions of the game. They tweeted out saying, firstly, we want to sincerely apologize to everyone who has encountered issues playing these games. The GTA series and the games that make up this iconic trilogy are as special to us as we know that they are to the fans all around the world. The updated version of these classic games did not launch in a state that meets our standards of quality or the standards of our fans have come to expect. They knew that it's not according to the standard and they still released it. Right now, the classic versions of all the three games are available in a bundle in Rockstar Launcher. Anybody who has bought GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition through June 30th, they will have a free version of the classic bundle available for you. Unfortunately, at the moment, the classic bundle is not available on Steam, but Rockstar says that they will update on that when it comes out on Steam. So far, it's quite clear that people are upset with the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition because it does not look any better, the models look worse, there are apparently bugs and glitches all around, it's just a mess. And it's so funny that modders are able to take away the eye-blinding rain and making it much better, like much more realistic. You can see how modders are better than Rockstar right now. Well, with that being said, this was the top gaming news of this very week. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what you think and definitely subscribe to watch more news just like this every single week in Gamer Connect. Do not forget to hit that notification bell icon so that you can get notified every time we have a video uploaded right here.